At what point in your life did you, or what age, or was there a turning point when you just kind of realized all of these things where you're like, you know what, I'm ready to meet that person. I'm ready to do this and do that. And I'm ready to kind of leave all this stuff behind. Like, was there a specific turning point or events that led to that? And how did you go about then um, executing that decision? I became ready when I was in my late twenties and now I'm in my late thirties. Um, so I didn't know that it was even possible to be ready to marry somebody. Um, it just hit me when I met my wife because I had been, you know, trying to be a certain way for a really long time, but kind of hiding from myself. I didn't really know how I felt very on a very deep level. And my wife is a very wise person. And she immediately called me out on all the bullshit that I was telling myself all the time. <laughs> um, and I was like, God, is that an attractive trait? Even though it, it, it you know, was very disruptive. And I was just like, what? <laughs> no, that can't be true. Um, <laughs> but then I was like, I was open to it. I'm just lucky that I happened to have the trait of that. I, I was open-minded about it and not like, no way, I'm going to throw that out the door as soon as somebody tells me like that I'm thinking of things in a way that's not productive or helpful to me. I think when I met somebody that showed me that they could grow with me and help me develop into a more self-aware person, a person that's, I think of as like having a higher consciousness. And I, by that, I only mean that my life could be more dedicated towards things that are really have meaning, really matter to me. Um, and that needed to start with me getting out of my own way. That's what made me know that I could marry somebody. And, and my wife was the one that showed me that that's possible. And then I was, it opened the door to all these other things. It's like, oh, well, let's, we just spent years and years like talking and figuring out who we are together. And then it was like, you know, then we both wanted to have a child and that certainly keeps you busy. And, and mm -hmm. I have a lot of ideas of how I want my life to develop and she's my partner in that. So I'm just lucky that I met the right person because I never had any interest in getting married. To, I thought I wanted to get married and have a kid, but I was like, how will I find somebody? I don't get it. What the heck does that partner look like? I'm so happy for you. I mean, that's to have come from the background that you did. And, you know, you, you like you said, you experienced hate from such a, a young age. And even though you were in a sense removed from the situation because your parents were divorced, there was still, it was still part of your life. And I was part, mm -hmm. I was present in the hate all the way through till my dad passed last year. I mean, it was just mm -hmm. a consistent thing, but for you to have found that you can be, you know, in a better position to take all of that and turn it into something positive, as opposed to just living that and, and carrying those bad habits and, and self-destructive nature, I think is just really inspirational that you really can take charge of your life if you want it badly enough and if you want to put in the work. Mm -hmm.